guys welcome back to making games with unity for today's video I'm going to show you on how to move a cube in unity so without any further ado let's get started first we need to create a new project in unity first click your unity hub click unity button then uh, let's name our project into um, moving things like move object dash with unity and then we're going to create a new folder for that move object with unity all right so we have a project name and a directory let's create it by clicking this create and now we just need to wait for it let's wait for it all right it's loading now loading hurry up my man all right it's loaded so yeah we have a new empty project in unity so first thing first we always need to create a new folder for that um, let's say move all deck with unity and then click file save us go to move object in unity create a new folder since open it and then move object using arrow keys yeah we name it like that because we are planning to move the cube using the arrow keys so now we need to delete this sample since that Unity created for us all right so right now we have a clean project here and we got a scenes inside and right now we are currently on that scene and then we need to create two more folder for our scripts so that everything is neat and organized and then pre pops folder all right so first thing first we need to create a cube on our project view let's create it uh, 3d object then cube all right so right now we have a, we have some cube here so we are going to move this cube by pressing the arrow keys on our keyboard we can also use the WASD to move it all right so let's go to the script folder right click let's click a script uh, move use move using arrow keys and then we need to click the cube and then we can drag it directly actually but first we need to code first actually we can it's it's either way it's the same thing so yeah I'm going to code first so to move the the object in unity uh, usually we use transform so transform that translate translate is the way on how you go how are you going to move the object so in our case we're going to get the input axis input get axis and then for this one we need the horizontal axis which is the x or hori hori horizontal and then we we are going to put this in zero so in here in, in the on the X we get the horizontal axis and then on the Y we don't need the Y we just put put in z zero because if we put some balls on Y we're going to move up so right now we're just going to move on X and Z direction uh, you're going to see it after this one so on Z we're just going to repeat get axis 
and then for the Z we need to get the vertical okay so we got the vertical now so let's see what happened to this code all right we need to click the cube and then we need to drag the move key uh, move using arrow keys script that we just create and then let's try it let's click the play and try to move around whoops it's so fast right if we look at the top view in here on the scene view it, see it moves so fast our object move so fast and it's obviously we have some problem to fix this issue we're going to use the time that delta time if we use time that delta time the object will move by time not by frame uh, this is good because if we use time that time that delta time it will move depend on the machine for example your machine is fast and then the object will move fast if your if your machine is slow the object will move slow it's something like um, it will adapt on on which machine this code or this app runs so I hope that is clear all right so we're going to fix that first we need to open our script again and then we are going to multiply our input axis by time that delta time using this our object will move using the time not using the frame so by using this our movement will adapt based based on the machine and based on the time all right let's try it let's move the object so right now you see that the cube is moving not so fast but right now it seems okay right but the only problem right now is like it's so slow but at least it's now moving based on the time not based on the frame because of time that delta time so yeah we still have problem so to fix this it's so easy first we need to stop the play first and then we need to open the script again and then to fix that it's so easy we just need to create a new variable here we're gonna make it public and then I'm going to use float because it's a float value we're gonna name it move speed and then I'm going to use 5 as, as the move speed and then we are going to multiply or get input axis multiplied by, by the time delta time with the with the move speed so to do that we can put it here the move speed and then multiply it by closing the horizontal get input axis okay what happened ah we put the asterisk there and same with here we're going to not here in the Z we're going to put the move speed multiply it to our get input input axis for the vertical and then save it actually right now this part we don't need it yeah because we just directly um, modified move speed here so we don't need to initialize anything so we'll go uh, back to our unity and then let's wait for it to be saved so usually when you edit a script there's a loading uh, UI here it's when it's still loading it means it's still saving it but right now it's not here anymore so it's fine so right now we can easily try this one uh, hit play try to move it using the WASD or the direct direct the arrow keys on your keyboard and now we're moving just fine right left right move forward move backward so as you, as you can see we're moving horizontally right now and I'll just adjust the scene view to yeah to really show the top view 
so now we are moving horizontally using the X axis and now I'm going to move on the Z, Z axis or the Z axis using the vertical so right now we didn't touch the Y because this is just a, a demonstration of moving object Sim, um, moving object in a simple way using just the X and the Z axis so right now by using this code you can easily move your object see you can you can even you can even hold the uh, the uh, the horizontal and vertical at the same time so that you can move diagonally Oop, boop, boop. all right so now that we have a cube that moves the way that we wanted we can easily create this cube into our into a prepub so first we need to rename our cube into a let's say player this is our player and we're gonna make a prepub using this so it's so easy you can just click the prepub folder here and then drag the player that we just created so after we drag it you see that it turns blue it means it's a prepub already and then see that icon it's also too that this is a cube this is a prepub so we can just click the player on the hierarchy view and then we can easily delete it because it's already a free pub so delete it and now we have a player here and then it has the script inside the move using the arrow keys if you want to use that you can just drag your pre pub player here and then you can just play it again see so that's is the other way on how to use the prefab so again prefab is a building block in unity uh, you can use this building block to create um, big application or even small application so meaning you're gonna make a lot of prefabs here it it could be player it could be ui uh, it could be managers but right now we're going we're not going to tackle that so i just i just show you that you can create the prefab out of the object that we just created which is the cube so right now if you see this free pub here we can easily drag it there and then you you, can, you will have your player free pub you can also modify some files on, on it for example in here we can modify it like make the move speed to 3 and then after we turn then we're gonna drag it and then it's instantly changed the value so yeah you can tweak the value of your prepub here and then you can just drag it on on the hierarchy view and then you can move around your object i know this is mm, not fun but if you're just start getting started uh, actually the moment that you actually move an object it is so good and yeah it's start of something else so at least you have an object that is moving and it's really fun all right guys that's it i hope you learned something today i hope that you know how to move a simple cube in unity i know it's not that much but it's it's the start of your game development journey at least now you have something that is actually moving in your screen at least you know some idea now you you have some ideas on how to create a new prepub how to add a script on this prepub and how to move this prepub or in our case our cube and then convert any object on unity to a prepub by dragging them into a respective folder on the project hierarchy and again and again guys Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, click the subscribe button. Uh, it will really help me a lot. And then please also click the notification bell. Um, it will notify you if we upload a new videos. So guys, thanks again. And I hope you learned something. Please share it with your friends if you, if you like this video. And yeah, if you want more content, yeah, please continue watching. Uh, please yeah subscribe notify and that's all thank you thank you for watching and have a nice day and see you on my next video thank you guys bye bye